welcome to 2015 and your quick tour of the first issue of the year. This month we've delved into the literary classics and plucked out a wonderful reference to chirality in Through the Looking Glass by Lewis Carroll. And that's why Alice, of Wonderland fame, graces the front cover of our January issue by stepping through a mirror and into the world beyond, where everything, even the molecules, are mirror images of themselves. So is Looking Glass milk good to drink? I don't know, but our four gurus of chiral separations might, since they keenly address the broader significance of chirality, the major milestones in chiral analysis, and where the field is heading. Alice's reference to stereoisomers sent me off down my own rabbit hole of discovery in the editorial, where I found a number of intriguing combinations of classic literature and chemistry. Hans Gerd Janssen takes the helm of our second feature and declares war on techniques that compete with chromatography, which he describes as a sinking battleship. Join forces with Hans Gerd and fight the good fight. Our upfront section highlights a new system for comparative GC, throws a near infrared spectrometer in a swimming pool, and lets you image single DNA molecules with your smartphone. In my view, meanwhile, covers fishing and iron chromatography, better computer models, and man's best friend. Finally, we sit down with free spirit Sandy Dasgupta, who describes his scientific journey from India to the USA. If you strongly agree or disagree with any of our contributors this month, let us know online at www.theanalyticalscientist.com. Bye for now.